to the latest video in our Meet the Satellite series. Behind me is a brand new model that's just arrived here at UMETSAT HQ in Darmstadt, Germany. This is a satellite scheduled for launch later this year in late 2020 and its name is Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich. Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich is another addition to the European Commission's Copernicus programme, but this satellite is also a collaboration. It builds upon a heritage of missions run by us at UMETSAT, as well as our colleagues in the United States, NASA and NOAA, and the French space agency CNES. In a previous video in this series, you met Jason. The Jason series of satellites are a set of altimetry missions, and Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich builds upon this data set, and also offers complementary data that works with other missions, such as that on Sentinel-3. Let's take a look at its instruments. Altimetry missions make measurements of sea surface height. To do this, you need a combination of different instruments. But one of the primary instruments that you need is an altimeter. The altimeter on Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich can be found in the middle of the satellite. Here, it's the big dish object that you see. And it's a Poseidon 4 altimeter. This is a special type of altimeter which offers two different modes of measurement, low resolution mode and synthetic aperture radar. And this is what allows Sentinel-6 to continue that time series record that we have from different altimeters. Another instrument that's needed to make measurements of sea surface height is a microwave radiometer. This allows us to make a correction for the amount of water that's in the atmosphere. On Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich, the microwave radiometer we have is on top of the satellite. It's another big dish-shaped instrument. It's called the Advanced Microwave Radiometer. In order to make accurate measurements of sea surface height, we need to know exactly where the satellite is in its orbit. For this, we have a precise orbital determination package aboard the satellite, which is made up of several instruments. On Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich, this includes DORIS, which is the antenna that you see here, the laser retroflector array, and a GNS system, which is on the back of the satellite. The last instrument that we'll talk about aboard the Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich satellite is the radio occultation instrument. This is on top of the satellite, you can see it here. It looks like a giant Lego brick. This instrument allows us to measure profiles through the atmosphere of pressure, temperature and water vapour. And this information is absolutely vital for weather forecasting and climate applications. This is one of the real strengths of the Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich satellite that we can look at the ocean and the atmosphere together. We hope you've enjoyed the latest video in our Meet the Satellite series. If you haven't met the other satellites that we operate here at UMETSAT, check out the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel, where you'll also find lots of informative videos about our satellites, data products and services.